Hey everybody, CD59. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, today's video, what we're going to work with is a Ruger American, the heavy barrel, laminate, 17 HMR. You've seen this before. Oh, uh, probably two, three months ago I did a video at about 50 yards shooting. This stuff right here, Federal will come out with it. They put it in a jar, sells 50 bucks for 250 rounds, not a bad price. Uh, very accurate out of this rifle. Uh, about a month ago, I glass bedded it. Uh, worked wonders on it. I got some groups here I'll show you, but uh, the glass bedding is on Patreon. If you want to see it, hop on over there. I uh, appreciate those of you that already have. Okay, um, the scope. Uh, a while back, I got what they call the side shot. It basically puts a cell phone looking down through the uh, scope. You can record. I didn't get a lot, whole lot of that done this year. You've heard me talk about record rain in South Dakota, floods. Not a good year. Uh, people involved in agriculture, they're going to take a massive, massive hit. Anyway, I glass bedded this and I told you there's something they can do. With this side shot, the worst thing, it's uh, I think the people that develop it are heavy into air guns, air rifles. Uh, you put it on a recoil, something that actually has recoil, recoil. That's the worst part of it, the bang. Uh, how do you get rid of that? Weight. That's how I'm going to get rid of it. As much weight as possible. Hang on, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. There we go, I can see it on there. Now I go, and I know it's good. 614. That's going to be our benchmark. Uh, we're going to add some weight to it. Get the camera up above and we'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, we got the action out of the stock. I told you I glass bedded it. Uh, your lugs here that fit into the two grooves on the bottom of the action. Absolute perfect. First one inch of the barrel. Perfect, perfect. Glass bedded this little rascal in there. Didn't leave that. That's uh, not bedded in. It's removable. But there is no motion in it. It does not float anymore. Okay. What we're going to do is cavity right here. I'm betting I can get close to, I can get well over a pound of lead in there. I'm going to mix up some epoxy. I just cacked open a 25 pound bag of 8 shot. The smaller your material, the less air space between it, the more weight that's going to be in there. Okay, we got some epoxy mixed up. Epoxy, read the instructions, but it, every kind I've ever had. Mixing it is 50-50. I'm just going to get it in there. I want everything in there coated with the epoxy so everything sticks to everything else. Careful not to get it all over your gun. Alright, this is uh, uh let's see, I think it's five minute. Five minute epoxy. But the problem is that right the way it is, it's a little too thick. Acetone. That is a thinner, cleaner for epoxy base, anything. We're gonna thin it down and easy on the breathing when you're using this stuff. It could turn you into a liberal or something, you know. That's going to make it more like uh, it's going to seep down in all that shot that I'm going to put in there. And seal her up good. That turns five minute epoxy into, hell, I don't know, it might be a day or two. It'll probably be in the morning. That got nice and runny. All right, we're gonna add lead.
This ain't going to be a ton of weight, but it's going to be uh, an addition, you know, anything is better than what I got. I'm hoping for a pound. You see, there's my barrel height right there. I've got a lot of room. I put actually quite a bit in there yet. But I don't think I want to push it to the point where I could actually have issues. That's pretty darn good right there. Pretty darn good. Soaks it up like a sponge. That's why you want it runny. What do you think folks? It's worth the effort? I think it is. Just for making it heavier yeah, no, by now, for me, it's going to be nothing more than a varmint shooting rifle. Primarily prairie dogs. we got some other field rats in this country that haven't had very much uh, time on them in the last 20 years. They kind of come and go. You used to have what they call a flicker tail. Had ungodly numbers of them. And then... You know, it takes 10, 15 years for their population to just get out of hand and then poop. Mother Nature kills them all. Anyway. We shall see you this time again tomorrow. We'll see what she looks like, what it weighs, and uh, put her on a scale. All right, we're back. Uh, this thing has been setting overnight. Epoxy has set up. You can see down there, we uh, it is just flush, a cavity full of lead, topped off with epoxy, filled up, level, flush, smooth. Uh, I had some groups here I was going to show you yesterday, I forgot about it. After glass bedding this rifle, I had a virtually windless day. That's nine shots, a magazine full, 570 thousandths of an inch. This thing shot about inch and an eighth, 100 yards. Not bad, not bad, but that, you know, you start, start talking close to a half inch for a nine shot. That one, uh, this one, I had the cameras all set up. Got to turn the microphone on. Got home. You don't have noise. You really don't have a video. That one I was down, had a little bit of wind blowing. Uh, that's five, 450 thousandths, five rounds. This one is on YouTube. Uh, glass bedding this rifle is on my Patreon page. I think I said that. Let's throw it back together and see what kind of weight gain I got out of this.
we will snug those down to 50 inch pounds later when I get out the fat wrench, but for now we're just going to throw it together. Okay, I'm going to pull the camera around the other side so we get a better view of this. All right, if you remember, uh, yesterday we had 6 pounds and 14 ounces. Today. Ah, uh, boy, I can't tell. Seven pound eight ounces. So we gained ten ounces of weight is all. Not quite three quarter pound. But boy you can sure tell it in the hand. She's got half to it. We get that scope on there, we get the uh we get that side shot on it. I think it's gonna work wonders. Thanks a lot, people. Just plain or 